Artificial intelligence has become firmly embedded in our personal lives, from smart speakers to targeted online ads. AI technologies are finding their way into our labs and offices too, changing how we approach complicated problems. Take John. He's a biomedical scientist, swamped by the seemingly endless buildup of papers and data sets to gather and filter through to stay on top of his field. He can't see the forest for the trees. It would take forever to make sense of all that's relevant. Now, he turns to AI for help. The AI automatically analyzes and neatly summarizes the information relevant for his research question in a so-called knowledge graph. It shows the links between relevant molecules, diseases, and organisms. By helping John pinpoint where he should focus his attention, the AI saves him months, helping him develop new therapies faster. Let's look at Marta, an engineer who has been scratching her head trying to crack the optimal design for an aeroplane that's not only stable but also lightweight, saving fuel and CO2 emissions. She looks to a generative AI for a solution and it develops a design lighter and more stable than anything she has seen before. Maybe John and Marta could have eventually solved these problems themselves, but they may never have found these exact answers. Partnering with AI, they worked faster and smarter. So, is AI superior to humans? Well, AI simply does what it's told, bound by the data we feed it and the targets we define. John's AI can't set its own goals or interpret the results. Marta could even tell her AI to design a heavy, unstable aeroplane, and it wouldn't have the common sense to question her demand. The point is, we need a human to ask the right questions. So no, AI isn't superior to humans. However, humans with AI can be superior to humans without it. AI catalyzes human creativity. But maybe the most significant way AI can support creativity is by freeing up time. Many uniquely human behaviors are important for developing good ideas, yet we struggle to find time for them, like going for a walk to unwind and reflect. Often, penny drop aha moments come when we stop focusing on a problem and do something else. Brainstorming with colleagues or networking with inspiring peers are other examples. Research indicates that the most successful innovators regularly engage in such activities. Covering our high-volume, repetitive daily activities, AI gives us time to be more human, to reflect, to brainstorm, to discuss, to network, to ask new questions. But if we're honest, do we use the extra time AI grants us to foster creative habits? Or do we instead spend more time plugged into technology, keeping our minds constantly entertained with a screen? If we aren't careful, AI could even impede our creativity. Let's take a look at how. John knows he needs to focus on interpreting his new knowledge graph to develop promising new experiments. But his concentration is fragmented. He keeps giving in to the buzzing social environment in his pocket and losing his train of thought. Pleased with her new drone design, Marta intended to go for a walk and mull it over, but she lost track of time. Stuck scrolling. This isn't by chance, it's by design. As AI gets more intelligent, it becomes a better helper and a better distraction. It's listening and learning tweaking its algorithms based on what makes us tick. It's like AI is playing tug-of-war with our time. Team 1 is designed to save us time, whereas Team 2 wants to suck us in. So if we become complacent, decisions about how we spend time will be made for us. Resisting AI's distraction requires conscious effort. Whether you're an individual, business manager, or policymaker, take a moment to reflect on the influence of AI. How does it affect the balance between work, family, leisure time, and self-care? Do your employees have time for off-screen reflection and interaction, or are they drowning in robot-like activities? 
Is AI adding value and inspiration in society? The bottom line is, we should embrace AI where it accelerates human creativity and keep it out where it does more harm than good. Looking forward, it's likely that the most successful ideas won't come from bright thinkers alone, but from those who are best at mindfully steering machines, all the while ensuring that they remain firmly in the driver's seat.